Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the ring from Liverpool, Courtney Fry. <laughs> Courtney Fry was an outstanding amateur, as you've heard. It's never quite happened for him as a professional. Last throw of the dice, maybe. Only his 22nd fight. He's been a pro now for 10 years. It's interesting hearing Boosie Malinga there. His uncle was Talani Malinga, sugar boy. He was a fighter back in the day. I remember him beating Nigel Benn, he could go a bit. He beat Robin Reed the night I won the my world title. And a real, real big shot. Good fighter and a gentleman. Seems like Vusi is another one, pretty much the same. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the ring from Swansea, Enzo Macronelli. <laughs> So, the return of Enzo back after that terrific performance. He really boxed very well and fought well against Oval McKenzie. Had to dig deep, stopping him in the 11th round. And he proved a bit of a point that night, that he, he's still got something to offer. And here he is again. Still wants another shot at a world title fight. Whether that's just a pipe dream or a reality, well, time will tell. And a rain on steel. It's 10 three minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. He brings with him a record of 18 wins, three losses with six KOs to his name. And yesterday's weigh in, he scaled 12 stone, nine pounds. And tonight, where's the blue shorts? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Liverpool, Courtney from. And across the ring in the red corner stands the Commonwealth light heavyweight champion. His record reads 37 wins with six losses with 29 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 12 stone, 8 pounds, and tonight wears the black shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Swansea, Enzo Macronelli. Your referee in charge of the action is Richie Davies of All Hallows Kent will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Okay, fellas, you both know what I expect of you. Behave yourselves, do as you're told, and above all, make sure you defend yourselves at all times. God bless you both. Ladies and gentlemen, 10, 3, in crowds. Well, how much ambition has Courtney Fry still got as a fighter? Well, we're going to see fairly soon. Seconds out, round one. Enzo Macronelli, one stage, was right up at the top of the sports. Then the defeat against David Hay, Ola Ofalabi, Dennis Lebedev, and that shocking knockout against Alexander Frankel. But he's still there, been around a long time. It's hard to think that he's still only 33. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And to be honest, he looked as good as he had for a for couple of years in his last fight against Oval McKenzie showing that he did have durability after all, taking a few good shots and, and landing a few. And the knockout against McKenzie was something else, wasn't it? It was terrific. Stages when he just wondered as well. McKenzie was right in the fight, the midway stage. And Macronelli showed all his experience and no shortage of desire as well to win in the manner that he did. Macronelli one of the most likeable, likeable figures in the British ring. But Fry, to his credit, come up with intent, doesn't he? To take the centre of the ring, which he has to do. He has to try and push McKenzie, um, Macronelli back. Well, he knows that Macronelli can appear, appear fragile. You know, I know he'd got some problems at the time. His dad had just died, hadn't he, when he fought Shane McPhilbin, and he, he, by his own admission, he just was—he was in—he was in bits. Uh, 
poor old Enzo, but McPhilbin, a fairly limited fighter, I think, it's, I think it's fair to say. He did rock him right down to his boots. Both landing with good jabs in this round. Courtney Fry fought Nathan, Nathan Cleverley a few years back for the British and Commonwealth title. Stopped in eight rounds. This one wasn't going to be for the Commonwealth crown, but Courtney couldn't uh, couldn't make the check weight, couldn't make the uh, the required mark to get down to what's required for a championship fight. Sure, Enzo, it's still like a, like a dust-up with Nathan Cleverly somewhere down the line. Well, they've uh, swapped weight classes, haven't they, right now? It's a close round, but a, but a positive start from Courtney Fry. He's done the right thing, hasn't he? He's trying to take the centre of the ring, try to push Macmanelli back. Nice little combination there from Fry. Trains at the Everton Red Triangle. Jim mates with Kevin Satchel. Tom Stalker and others. Yeah, good body shot there from McNally. Oh, and it's cracking. Oh, right, right hand oh, followed by the left two, and fried down three, in the very first round. Four, five, six, Bell goes. seven, eight. And the round is over. But just when we've been saying that Fry had had a pretty good opening round. The power, the natural power and timing of Macronelli putting him down at the end of that opening round. Yeah, just after a little good spell there, wasn't it, from, from Fry being busy and his hands on combinations, but it was a right hand through the guard and then just a little delayed reaction for Fry to go down. But to be fair, I don't think he's really hurt. He looks recovered and fine in the corner now. Good shot, though, Barry, wasn't oh, it? Oh, cracking shot. Lovely right hand. And Enzo just missing with the follow-up left hook there, luckily for Fry. I was going to say, perhaps just as well, here's Gary Lockett in Enzo's corner. Your forecast and your shots. Okay? Bonus 10 seconds. Listen now. Just pop your shots. Just pop your shots with speed, OK? OK. All right, why you did that, beautiful. Seconds out, round two. Well, from a Macronelli perspective, that really couldn't have gone a lot better. Competitive yeah. opening round and then an absolute pearler of a right hand. Yeah, well, Sorry, we're just about to start uh, waxing lyrical about the much vaunted left hook, and then it's that beautiful <laughs> little right hand who put it, which effectively put him down. Well, they were both trying to establish the jab, and both having success with that with that punch, wasn't it? But it was ironically the right hand that, that did the damage. Fry so well schooled, you can see that. He was the. Uh, the other member in the Olympic team of two in 2000, Audley Harrison, of course, was the one who got all the headlines. But he was an ABA champ, three-time ABA champion. And doubling that well with the right hand there, Courtney Fry. Enzo Macronelli covering up, waiting for the opportunity. There's that right hand again. That was a, similar to the shot that put Fry down in the opening round. Good right hand again there from Macanelli. And Fry just waiting too, too long to get off and it, it suits Enzo. You know, it's Enzo that's taking the... Enzo Macanelli's taking the centre of the ring now, hasn't he? You know, he's moving Fry around to that right hand. He's landing with a good left hook there. Looks physically very comfortable, doesn't he, Macronelli? I, I, I thought when he first came down to light heavyweight, he, look, he looked a bit drawn, but he, he seems to have seems to have got his conditioning, his diet right, and he looks really well now at this weight. Yeah, he, did, he looked drawn, didn't he, for a few fights, but oh yeah, he looks comfortable at the weight now. Looks strong, physically strong. I'm sure that must have been a, a big confidence boost to that victory in the last fight showing him, well, proving to him what he believed, that he'd still got something left when others were writing him off. 
Well, you mentioned confidence, and that's exactly what he's taken away from Courtney Fry, I think. He started positively in the first round, started positively at the beginning of this round, Courtney Fry, but Enzo landing with that right hand and, and just taking the confidence out of Fry just a little bit. Price is better. Not much the shorter guy, but he's got he's got a long reach and he's got a decent jab. But Enzo doing the right oh, good left hook there from Enzo Macronelli. Enzo doing the right thing, he's just covering up after there you go, just blocking everything that's coming his way. Oh lovely body shots. Crunching body shots and a little bit of an ooh and an ah and another one. Fry doing well to take that. You see the accuracy of the Macronelli jab as well. That right eye of Fry is starting to mark up. There's a, a swelling underneath it. Yeah, and Fry just he started that second round off quite positively, but then just seemed just lack a little bit of confidence, just slow down his work rate. And that right hand there, and I think it was another left took after that, which was uh, the bigger shots from Macronelli in that round. And Courtney Fry needs to take the centre of the ring again. But there's that left hook there. There was two of those, one there at the end of that last round. And uh, Fry done really well to stay on his feet. So keep boxing them, be clever, don't take any silly chances. If, if you don't like the landscape, you get back out to what you're doing, you know what I mean? We're going to have a little look after the shot, after the left hook. They're stepping a little bit. Neither of you can work, shove them off and do your work then. You know what I mean? Being cautious while you're doing it. So the emphasis, emphasis is still on the boxing. But now and then, have a little look up close and then shove them back and wait and then okay seconds out round three working away on that injured eye to take the swelling out of it third round it's a 10 rounder now this not the originally stipulated 12. And it's the macronelli jab that's caused that damage i think yeah, it's been good, isn't it? Ironically, that's what Courtney Fry started off the fight with, with a really good jab, but it's Macronelli that's taken over in that department. Again, landed a nice three-punch combination there again. And that, I think that's been the difference in this round, and especially the last round, is Enzo's committing with his shots, and Courtney not quite. Oh, good left hand again. Fry trying to work Macronelli's body a bit here, trying to get some variety into his work. Well, I think that's that's his opportunity, isn't it? When Enzo throws his shots, when you throw yours back, Enzo covers up tight, so he leaves an opening there for the left up to the body, and that's something that Fry should really be looking to exploit. Hasn't had a competitive outing in 13 months, Courtney Fry. Well, oh, that's another cracking body shot. You can really feel it and sense it thudding home. Richard Davis, referee, having a fairly quiet time of it so far. Oh, good jab there from Courtney Fry. Just missing with the right hand and landing with a solid jab. Body shot again, Enzo just need to take a little step to the left. And so back to the jabs, good work from Macanelli. Oh, it's a good left hand. And just for a moment, Fry. Not sure his legs stiffened, but he certainly felt the impact of it. And another good shot from Macanelli. Takes a good shot, doesn't he, Courtney Fry? He's taking a few heavy shots he does, and yeah. hasn't blinked. Oh, good little work there. Got some lovely skills, haven't he, Fry? Just not busy enough. And Interesting another... round, and Fry had his moments there. He did, but not enough for me. John, I just think that. I just think Enzo just committing more with his punches. 
there's a difference in the quality of the shots that's all you know when Enzo throws it out he really commits with the shot and and even though Courtney Fry is landing with some decent punches he just hasn't got enough confidence in his work at the moment to really let, the let his arms go takes a good shot they landed another good left hook there Enzo and landed with the right hand as well and Fry walking through him stop going back in straight lines right Everything off the jab. Now, let's keep putting the pressure on him. Right, slowly, slowly breaking his heart. Go on, it's 10 seconds. Right, son. Deep breaths. Seconds out. Very yeah, Lockett four. taking a look over his shoulder to see what sort of state Courtney Fry was in when he made his way back to the centre of the ring. At the moment, there still seems some fight left in him bruising under both eyes now of Courtney Fry as he continues to absorb that long left-hand lead of Macronelli's. Oh, nice right hand through, right down the centre of the guard there from, from Fry. Nice body shot as well. He has good little spells, doesn't he? And I think you know, he needs to build on that, build confidence off, off the work when he does land with good shots. Terrific right hand. How did Fry stand up from oh, that? Right on the centre, that was. Right flush on the chin. Oh, talking about him having a good chin, it proved it there. And he's still, he's still hurt by it now, I think. He's still wanting to give himself a few seconds. Fair play, coming back. Rocked back Macronelli's head with that left uppercut. Action really warming up here in this fourth round. But to be honest, it's, it's been pretty much all fry, hasn't it, in this round, except for that big right hand. Yeah, didn't he? Didn't he show that he got oh. a good chin taking that? Oh. Well, Fry's dug in here and put a big effort into this fourth round. Even though Enzo's not throwing a lot of punches, he's keeping his hands up high. It's a good thing to see. He keep protecting that chin and just trying to smother the work of Fry. Not done a lot in this round, though, Macronelli, has no, he? Well, except for that big right hand, he's done pretty much nothing, I know. Gary Lockett, his trainer, is uh, fairly vociferous when his uh, fighters don't do what he expects them to be doing, and I think he might have a few well-chosen phrases at the end of this round. It's been a good round this for Courtney Fry with the one notable exception. Oh, oh look good. at this. Just needs to take a step to the side, doesn't he? Just open up the body with the left foot. Good round for Courtney Fry, very good round. And he needed that as well, didn't he? Fight just slipping away from him ever so slightly on my card. Pull the round back. Oh, look at that. Right on the, right on the chin. Oh, he stayed there from now. It's something else, really is. We all know if, if anything Enzo got left is a massive shot, massive punch, and he took that fry with, with barely a you wobble. Missed him with the right hand, you throw, you won't throw it. Deep breaths, come on. See, you can't just you can't just let him throw and just cover up and let him get away with it, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, come on! I want you to start throwing this one-two now. You throw this one-two three times in this round, fight the girl well. Okay, guarantee you, man. Okay. Four minutes, ten seconds. Certainly wasn't throwing a lot in that last round. Certainly not too many warm Second twos, down, and down, the result down. of it, the up shots that on Richie Davis's scorecard, I would imagine that Courtney Fry has pocketed that fourth round. Yeah, he started. He started the round off good. He was only and finished the round good, didn't he? Kept busy. 
and you think it'd be a big confidence fight because he's been busy he's run around and he's taken a good shot and walked through it so you know the, it's a lot to work on a lot to build on there for Courtney Fry it's just when Macronelli gets under pressure isn't it it's as though the the worries start to resurface yeah, but he, you know, he was in the, no, but his last fight, and, and we all got his worries, but his last fight, he was in against a big punch in over McKenzie, and, and, and he was fine, wasn't he? Never really looked in danger in that in that last fight. A couple of rounds, around about the sixth or seventh, when he got the riot act, as I remember it, from Gary Lockett. And he uh, just took his, took his foot off the gas and didn't quite get on the button with that right hand, perhaps as well for Courtney Fry. It's another solid shot. Good have a cut as well, there, not, not just off the break from Enzo. Referee hadn't called break, so legitimate tactic. Richard, right hand. Richard Davis, the referee, tells me that he's on a training regime. Reckons he's lost 22 pounds, so well done to him. No way still to go, but we'll get there. <laughs> and Fry landed with a two good right hands there. Enzo just needs to double up that jab and then get the right hand in the play. Just wants to get a little bit too close, doesn't he, to throw the punches, Enzo. Oh, it's a big right hand. Fry holding on. Again, showing terrific resilience. Well, Enzo's done what Gary Lockett said. He's let the punches go in this round. Yeah, so just he needs to keep that work rate going now, though, for me, Macronelli. Oh, good shot again. Oh, good shot from Fry this time. Lovely left hand. Fry finishing strongly. Yeah, good right hand there, wasn't it, from Fry? <laughs> Last few seconds of this fifth round. Fight reaching its halfway stage. And Macronelli landing the more authoritative punches. But a close round, John. Drink this. A little bit more. Good. Right. You took. Thanks, mate. You took the best he's got. Right. You're outboxing him. In this round, a little bit, we stayed in the wrong range, and that's why he was able to catch it. You've got to be on his chest where neither of you can work, or you're out. Do you know what I mean, Court? Let's get a little bit closer in these rounds. We keep catching him as he's walking in. The straight shots at the middle are ideal. You can keep banging at them into him. But when he's walking in and wants to work in the mid range, you can't stand there with him. You have to walk into him and take all his room away. You can't punch that close. Do you know what I mean? What round is this? This is round six. All right. Straight right. So what it wants is more of what we've been doing. Okay. Boxing him on the outside, letting him walk in and catching him with them big shots. But when he gets close, Instructions being given by Paul Stevenson. Good. I think very good, yeah, he's right, no, he is, he, that three-quarter range is what suits him, isn't it, he likes to fight in the trenches, and I think at the corner spot on there, you either got to be on his chest more than his work, or be from long range where he's had more success, but he needs to be busy, Courtney Fry, come back well in that last round, but just for me, just a little bit too late. Well, with the knockdown in the opening round, you've got Macronelli well clear, Barry. Yeah, it has been, and I think, no, I think the first two... Oh, not with a shot like that, though! Big right hand from Fry. Macronelli has to cover up. And he's going looking for him now, Courtney Fry. Never been a big one punch knockout artist, Fry. But that landed pretty flush. He needs to take advantage of this now. Why Enzo is a little bit unsteady. He's working. Took a left hand inside from Fry. Macronelli there. Really looking to tee off with these punches now. And another good right hand from Fry. 
So a good left hook in response to a good fight. Hard round this one, Barry. Gary Lockett urging Enzo Macronelli forward. Oh, good left hook. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down for the second time. Eight. Referee having a close look. Plenty of time for potentially Macronelli to finish this right here. And Courtney Fry was having some real successes in this sixth round before that. Yeah, he was, and he was really doing really, really well, wasn't he? Oh, the Caught left him left again. Left. And again. Richie Davis keeping a close watch on this now. Still firing back, though, Fry. Oh, brilliant that's stuff. what the uh, refs are looking for. It's when the gloves go down and there's nothing coming back. Oh, look at that. Talk about guts. And Enzo taking a good right hand there and not even blinking. McAnally's measured him up now with that left hook, haven't he? Fry's come back, though, and he's throwing good shots of his own. Heavy shots. Oh. Macronelli getting the oohs and ahs from the crowd. Fry really wobbly legs. Think, yeah, I think Fry's not in not in great shape in that corner. That's just great timing, that first left hook there that put Fry down. Really was really good timing for Macronelli. Just catching Fry coming in right on the button. But the heavier shot was that last one, just at the end of the bell. You see Fry, look at Fry there, wobbling back to his corner. That's Macronelli showing himself. He might be a fighter, but he's also a sportsman. Could have landed that right hand and did. Straight shot, just straight shot, shot to doing all the damage. Okay. Jump straight on him, put the pressure on, don't give him two minutes. Come on, son, this is it, right? Tell you what, exciting round, that last one. Goodness me. It's been a really good fight. Second second so I've got, got McAnally a street ahead, but it's been a Into really the good seventh. Fight. And Fry down in the first, down in the sixth, still in there pitching. Looked very wobbly when he went back to his corner at the end of that sixth round. This is where all the road work, all the ground work comes into play now, that fitness, that core strength, help you recover. He's as game as he come by that, isn't he, Courtney Fry? Well, if somehow he were able to turn this round, he just breathes new life into his career. It's a very late stage. Well, every every round's been competitive and even close in stages. It's just it's just been the knockdowns that's been the biggest difference in the two. But Enzo's been superb as well. He's walked through some heavy shots of his own. Yeah, he's taking some very solid shots, right hands particularly. And this is most definitely deserving of a title fight. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't yeah, it? Really shame he is. didn't. Uh, shame Courtney Fry didn't make the weight. Would have been a, a very legitimate sort of title contest. This one, on the basis of what we've seen. And after a really bad sixth round, you haven't had a bad round so far, Courtney Fry. Whoa. Fight Fry, the older man by five years. Oh, he can't take shots like that. Right hand, left hand, the towels come in, and Richie Davis has waved it all over. And in the seventh round, Enzo Macronelli gets another eye catching win. Brave effort from Courtney Fry. Right decision from the corner to throw the towel in, and he had, he had gone. It was the right hand, ultimately, which did the damage. And Enzo Macronelli has always been a good finisher.
and he retains the power and he's picked himself up another win talk us through it Barry oh it was great wasn't it, it was a great fight for him to get, but this is right at the end here the right hand right on the button again takes another one but Courtney didn't knew Courtney didn't want to know that he knew he had his fight being beaten out of him he tried his best but what a great this great display from both fighters the courage and the skill that Courtney showed in stages and again Enzo just keep proving us wrong time after time after time and he's looking as good now as I've seen him in a, in a three or four years at yeah, Macronelli looks well, strong yeah he looks strong I think that's the, the biggest thing he, he looked so gaunt so drawn a couple of years ago or 18 months ago and now he's in there and looking really well and he's taken some terrific shots in there tonight he's taken some heavy shots and he's come through it against a very game and technically good opponent okay nobody's trying to say that Courtney Fry is possibly as as dangerous as he as he might have been six or seven years ago but he came in in good shape and he had a game plan I think he did and he boxed, he boxed well in stage I just think his corner were right what he was doing he was standing in three-quarter range and that's Enzo's territory that, that was the I think that was the biggest difference in, in the two he landed with some good shots I think everyone thinks Enzo is is vulnerable when he gets hit but he, he, he's proved again tonight yet again that he can take a good shot and that power never leaves him well words with his promoter what now Frank what now for Richie me Davies has stopped the contest he deemed Courtney Fry was in no position to continue the winner in the red corner from Swansea Enzo Macronelli Good performance, exciting fight. 33. Uh, Enzo, back to back stoppage wins. The left hand seemed to be working well. What did you make of the performance? Uh, not very good, I'll, I'll be totally honest. Um, there's no excuses. I had a few problems this week, which I won't go into, but you know, we never nearly boxed anyway. Uh, so it was, a, it was a lot on my mind. Um, I performed well ish. I didn't go, I didn't go with the game plan that I should have done. Uh, and to be honest, I took him too lightly as well, and uh, I think I need I need the challenge to get me up as I showed against McKenzie. You know, I stepped uh, stepped up the level. A bit lazy in the fourth round. I think you got a rollicking from Gary yeah. when you went back, but all it took was that change of gear in the fifth and yeah, sixth. Yeah, I think I was uh, I was you know I was content with blocking. I was just looking for timing, looking for that counter. But you know I was giving him, like Gary said to me, I was giving him a bit too much confidence, um, and I was looking for that that counter left up, which worked in the end. Um, so. But, like I said, a little bit lazy in the fourth round. Um, but, you know, it's, it's boxing. He, he come to win, he come to fight. He, you know, it was probably his last arrive. It would have been a good, good opportunity for him. And, you know, he, he, took some, he took some punches. You know, I'm glad they stopped it when they did. It was a great effort from him. Um, second life for you. How comfortable are you feeling at light heavyweight? I, I make the weight easy. You know, we've got to remember, when I was, when I was walking around as a cruiserweight, we, um, I think any knowledgeable boxing fan know that you cut weight. Uh, I never cut weight. I was regularly uh, waiting for cruiserweight contents, 13-8, 13-9, tracksuit bottoms on, keys, wallets, phones in my pocket, um, you know, and next night then I'm still the same weight, if, if not lighter. Uh, they were coming in around 15 stone plus, and I'm 13-6, I'm 13-7, so, you know, theoretically I was giving away a stone and a half, two stone nearly every time I boxed. Now, I've got to look after my diet and make the 12-7 comfortably. Um, and then on fight night, then I'm about 13, 4, 13, 5. Same weight as what I was as a cruiser anyway. Just bring in Gary Lockett. He's got a bloody nose that he probably didn't need to, to get. Apart from that fourth round, what did you make of the performance? Infuriating. <laughs> Infuriating. You know, geez, you know, especially when the fight's in control. I mean, look, you know, first of all, Courtney came in, he went out on his shield. He hasn't got anything to be ashamed of. I think he did himself proud in there. You know, he gave Enzo a good fight. And to be honest, you know, Enzo took him lightly. He's saying all the time. First round, coach calls me coach. First round, first. I said, get out of your mind because this kid's got quality. He's been to the Olympics, got a good jab, a wily old character. Um, I think, you know, Enzo was just taking too long to throw. When he did throw, popped the shots, beautiful. And every time he landed, I think he bothered him. But I think it's something we've got to go back to. We've had a lot of problems this week. You know, we, we, we nearly weren't here. Um, so, you know, I'm happy with him just to get a W, especially by, by stoppage. And, um, you know, in the end, he got the job done. He threw some quality shots. But he's, he's got to step it on the... It took he, too long to get him off. Yeah. yeah, it took too long to get them off. And, as I say, infuriated for me in the corner. But, um, no, in all, you know, I'm happy with the win. But things to improve on again. OK, things to improve on. Francis, it's been a year that these guys have been in partnership. But Gary is starting to, to come around, even talking about he thinks Enzo deserves another tilt at a world title further down the line. What do you think? Oh, he absolutely does. 
Um, you can see the, the conditioning and the, and the work that's gone into, especially his last two fights. Um, you know, tonight might, may not have gone to, gone to the 100% game plan, but you know, I think um, Enzo's at that point in his career now where he needs the big fights to, 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 to make himself step up to the level that he knows he can compete at and the level that he wants to box at. Um, you know, it's an interesting turn of phrase from uh, Gary there in the, at the end of the fourth round, but um, obviously, you know, done the job, then, you know, obviously shows that they work well as a team. But, yeah, world title fights, I think, are, are on the horizon. I think another defence, uh, sorry, defend his Commonwealth title again. Um, you know, I don't know, any, any, you know, remaining issues that may, may, may or not might be there. Because um, we don't want to get into a big, big world title fight and have any problems like he did tonight. So I think one more, you know, get to defend the Commonwealth title and then we'll be looking at a big world title fight, Frenzo. I think you'll be surprised when you watch it back. It was great fun to watch. Thanks, lads. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Thank well, you. Excellent.